It was just a few weeks ago when Mayor Michael Coleman asked neighborhoods of Columbus to turn in their criminals and their guns. The high rates of uh, illegal guns that are being found um, in our communities, not just Driving Park, but the whole urban uh, uh, communities. Now the mayor's not only ready to take on guns, he seems ready to take on the legislature to try and wrestle gun laws back into the city's hands. The mayor needs to go after the criminals. What do gun laws do? They affect the law-abiding citizen. They don't affect the criminal. The mayor says he's targeting a so-called gun show loophole that he says would reduce criminals' access to guns, something the Buckeye Firearm Association says misses the mark. A criminal isn't going to go to a store. They're not going to go to the gun show, for, pay full retail on the gun. They're going to go and steal it. But Coleman says data from the ATF shows that weak gun laws lead to illegal trafficking and should lead to cities getting more say on the law. Gina Hawthorne Hill says she doesn't care who takes control, but says something needs to be done soon. She believes with every second spent waiting, another illegal gun is ending up on her streets. They're coming from somewhere, so... You know, I, I would like to see the state and the city maybe work together um, and combine their efforts. Marcus Thorpe, NBC4.